That look good? Get closer to me. Get a little closer to me. Cynthia's not here tonight, so. What the? Guess we got, I guess we gotta settle for Mari. And we're live in three, two, one. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another segment of I'm Suburb so Talks. Talks. I'm your host, Nick Grahetta. Joining me tonight, we have Maria Lee. Hello. We have Sahe Gian. Mm -hmm. We have Davino Paul. <laughs> and we have the long awaited return he has risen. of my dad, David. <laughs> David, go ahead. Dig it. What's going on, y'all? Go ahead, David. Tell a little bit more about yourself. Go a ahead. little bit more about me. Yeah. This has been my man since kindergarten. Actually, we weren't mans in kindergarten. We had some yeah. beef. Okay, we didn't have beef in kindergarten. That's a lie. <laughs> this guy, low key, bro. You thought it was beef, but I just I did, thought it was beef. I just didn't I like you. It was what was it? I just did. I just didn't Wait, like it. Happened? We're the only people of color at Sunset, bro. So. Oh nah, yeah. Fuck no. Nick, man. Fuck <laughs> Nick, bro. This Fuck guy Nick, was way bro. too nice. You were. Way, hey, bring the mic a little bit closer to you. Um, you were way yeah. too fucking nice. How was I too nice, bro? Bro, I remember <laughs> like in preschool, I used to walk around and David was like, "Hi, hi, hi." You want some of my lunch? You oh, this sounds it? like beef, bro. That bro, sounds like you're saying like just because just because I'm nice. Yeah, you gonna let him mock you right now? Yeah, yeah. You're saying, bro, what's up? No, no, it's cool now. We take this outside the camera. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> I'm okay. I'm kidding. You looking good though, bro. Thank you. The East Coast treating you nice. The East Coast is treating me nice, man. It's not like the West Coast though. Really, still West Coast is better. I don't know. Both really? both have different vibes. You always seem vibes. like you're really excited to come back. Though. No, I enjoy. I mean, I'm excited to come back because I haven't seen y'all like forever. I feel like it's more because yeah, because we're here. Yeah, like I don't know what reason I have to be out here if y'all weren't here. Maybe oh, like nice. the internship, probably. Yeah, well, yeah, that too. But like, <laughs> also like, just like I don't know, I wouldn't have the same network. But I think it's cool. Like the fact that I move, like now I have networks on both coasts. Like I can That's go wherever. Dumb, and I'm, I'm, like, That's super cool. I'm good wherever. Yeah. You know what I'm saying like you could live out there. I can live out in both places. Really, but yeah. where do you want to like live at? What if we were? What if we weren't? Be honest, y'all weren't be here. Honest, then like I'd have like I don't know. If we were in Montana, then I, then I would have a reason to be out here. Montana. But if we were like in Montana, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I'm not doing that, bro. <laughs> we're, like, we're like mountain climbing together. Is it like? But I want to know because you're saying it's like the same, or no, not the same, it's right? Just, you're just saying oh, not, it's the not same. No, it's not the same. How do they compare though? That's the thing. Like, how could how could this California compare to over there? Like, where are you at right now? Virginia. Virginia. See, that doesn't sound. That doesn't sound like you know what I mean. If I I'm like, like right next to DC though, so keep that in okay, mind. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay, like okay. Northern oh, what, Virginia. What's in DC? Like, what do you do? Yeah. Out okay. There? See, that's my question. DC is like a smaller. I mean, it's the capital of like the country, bro. Yeah. Okay. Like, yeah. I know. It's like it's like I mean, there's still a lot going on. Um, I'd say the people on the West Coast are nicer. That's definitely like the biggest thing that stands out to me. Like my dad always talks about. Um, but Guys, just a heads up. David's dad is the nicest <laughs> man you will ever meet in your entire life. Great guy. Yeah. Literally the nicest man i've like there can't be a single means like bone in this man's body but anyways keep going sorry no nah, i was just gonna say like the vibes are different people i don't know probably the weather out here is just so nice nobody has reason to be angry well how did you guys like the east coast you guys Fucking went loved it okay that's different we went to new york is virginia not like new york though no no i mean new york's its own animal that's bro. what i'm saying yeah, like, like, no like east coast you can't go you can't say Nowhere east coast near, like anything yeah. bro. would you live out in virginia like yeah i mean I, like in northern virginia like near dc like a lot of people settle, like a lot of families and stuff. Like, there's a lot to do. Um, it's like right next to DC, so I don't know. Metropolitan lifestyle. I haven't been replaced, right? Like, I'm still your best friend. Nah, yeah. Bad. <laughs> Liar. Also, guys, just letting you guys know, like, me, Maru, and David have known each other since, like, fifth grade? Fifth, sixth grade, right? Well, Maru, when did we meet? When did, like, us three meet? Like, I know when I me and Nick met. Well, like, you. When did, when, did, when did you come in the equation? I think me and Nick, fourth grade. David. No. I'm thinking, who did you have, fourth grade? Fourth grade teacher? Yeah. Uh, who, do, who did y'all have? I had Mrs. Lowry. <gasps> I had Lowry. I fucking hated her. I think I had Miss Song. Miss Song. Oh. Yeah. You were in those, like, the mixed one? No, she didn't have a mixed one that year. I, I, I always thought that was so cool. I thought, like, I thought, like, the sec the two grade classes were, like, the coolest thing ever. Yeah. And the fact that I never was in one made me so sad. Like, <laughs> you know what everyone told me? They said that if you're in a fourth, fifth grade mixed class, if you're in the fifth grade, you're an idiot. You're an and idiot. if you're a fourth grade, you're, like, smart as shit. Is that how they do it? Is that how they do it? There's no doubt that that is how they do it. There's no doubt. It makes sense, bro, because I had a fourth, fifth grade class, and my fifth grade, like, the kids in my fifth grade class were idiots, bro. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that's how they did them. But, okay, yeah. Uh, t We're going to go ahead and get right into it, right? You got the first question of the night? Yes. Okay, so Mara's got the first question of the night. A subscriber DM me. Oh, they DM'd you. <laughs> yes. You be looking at your DMs, Maru? Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> I, I know Maru's bored. She be on her request it. Let's be real. Let's be real. Be honest. Have you looked at all? Yeah. Question. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, dang. How many DMs would you say you get a day? 
That's a good question. I don't think a lot. Well, what's, what's a lot? What's a lot to you? Because a lot to me is like four, maybe, let's say. Oh, okay. Oh, that's a lot? I mean, a day is like a, like, I mean, like you saying like, But it also depends if I post, like, on my story, because yeah. then oh, I get okay, a lot okay, more. Okay, okay, and like okay. on TikTok and shit. Yeah, well, but mm-hmm. mostly on my Instagram okay, story. Okay, average, I'm going to say like seven. What do these DMs no. usually say? Hey? <laughs> no. Okay? No way, no way. Wait, I, I think lot, so. No? Or seven a day. maybe not. I'm going to just stick with five. Like five. Five okay. a day. All right. Right. So like what you're saying is is whoever DMs you will know that you've seen it. Mm. So if you okay, have a no, crush on Maru, she no, will no. see your DM. Okay, that's not true. I don't I don't check all my requested. Oh, okay, okay. I feel, like you, get some, I feel like you get some I feel like you get some weird ass DMs, Maru. Yeah, you gotten some weird ass <laughs> Dude, you need to start like telling us like the crazy. Yeah, I wanna DMs know you what got. I wanna know what girls' DMs look like. Yeah, can I you don't like, wanna know, bro. Yeah, actually I don't know if I'm no good. Like, the most <laughs> desperate one and like the craziest one you've probably gotten. Damn. I just love you. Give me a chance. Do you ever get voice recordings? I see those on Twitter all the time. People like barking and, sh- and stuff. <laughs> oh my God. I never got one of those, but I got to. Okay, I don't think this is weird. Wait, tell me, tell me, tell but me. But like, me. mommy, like with the question mark. Oh, and the, oh, oh and I the, thought you meant saying that. I was like, what oh, the no, fuck? Oh, hell no. It was just like mommy with the That's question funny. mark and the, mommy, and the little emoji. You think, you think people. <laughs> but Imagine. Mommy, you mommy. Think, you stop. Snapchat. <laughs> You think people that send that are actually like this one's about to hit? No, they're okay. definitely doing it for the meme. You think they're just doing yeah. it just to be for the jokes? Because it's oh, funny. No, like right-minded girl looks at that and goes like, "Oh, I'm fucking with that. Let me yeah, respond." Exactly. Like, they're like, "That's a creep." Like, yeah. okay, all right. Like, yeah. What about like craziest one that you can remember? Or just like some weird ass like, bro, what even what? Hmm. I'm gonna have to look back. Mm, I'll let you look back when we talk about the next podcast. Yeah, for okay. sure. You said one that worked though. Was remember you said that one that one that worked was a guy that sent you like a laughing emoji. Oh on yeah. Post. Wait, what? Yeah. So someone sent me a laughing emoji, right? Yeah. Okay. okay, but the thing is, I saw him on like the street in LA. Ugh, fucking, where's that street that with all the stores? Uh, Melrose. 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 And then he got my Instagram. But then the way he slid in the DMs was he like. <laughs> Reply to one of like or like send me one of my posts okay. and did like a laughing emoji like he was laughing at it yeah. and so obviously I'm gonna be like what the fuck is he hating on me or something so I was like question mark or like or like what and then he was like he was like it's just funny and I'm like what's funny he's like that we're not together or, or like that we're not that's together. fucking yeah. I've seen I've seen I that though I saw seen, a TikTok yeah, that like. Was like talking about like that type of pickup line. Where so it's we like, just did that show on TikTok right now. Where you like you like send something that the other person will understand, so they ask a question. So yeah. you yeah. say something to like you know what I'm saying like do the, something interact. like that yeah. to interact with the person. Yeah. Yeah, I think it is a thing because after that incident, like I have multiple DMs where you guys just send me like laughing emojis. So oh, but now you know, bro. You know what I'm saying like yeah. <laughs> you gotta send her a yoga ball, so then she's thinking you're calling her fat. And then you go <laughs> okay. in. And then you go in and you're like, nah, I just want to do some stretches with you. <laughs> Yo. Am I on to something? No. Nick. I'm not on to something here? <laughs> yoga ball. Is there a yoga ball? <laughs> one, one last follow-up question, though. Yes. If you post, like, an Instagram like an Instagram post or an Instagram story, how many DMs would you say you get off of just See, that? See, that's different. Yeah, that's different. I want to know that. Yeah. Though. That's probably crazy. Is it, does it low-key be going wild? It's like, yeah, like 50. <laughs> <laughs> stories yeah 50 oh no not 50 oh, yeah. no, like, like what do you like what do you think like a story like how what do you story? think story probably like 15 i don't think that's a lot though that's, that's a, a lot. lot that's, that's a, a lot. lot that's oh. a lot yeah i get like 20. i feel like it's easier for girls to get like a bunch of like slides and stuff is it you just like hard eyes and stuff like that yeah <laughs> what are yours about though i want to know what yours are about yeah, what do they say because you don't post stuff like about yourself it's like about like other shit so when you're saying that you're getting like 20 like and Nick gets like the 20. weirdest dms bro <laughs> yeah. get some weird dms so you, know, you know how i post on my instagram story that dad joke where yeah, yeah, it was yeah. like it was like um the damn one yeah the, the well damn one um and i got like five swipe ups that are like uh this is why you're single so anyways oh, <laughs> oh shit <laughs> People be frying you, bro. I'm no, not bro, even they, cap. Be fr- they be frying me. Like, like fucking sometimes funny, when I'm bored, I just be going through your comments just to see what people can say. So bro. I have something clever to say to you. It's fucking funny sometimes, bro. No, I laugh at it. I laugh at yeah, that shit. Because sometimes the DMs be clever too, like that. Like, because like, like, I say it, bro. You know what I mean? Like, I'm like, oh, like, 
about all this shit about girls and I'm like, oh, this is why you get no bitches. I'm like, like, some of them I laugh my ass. Like some of them I actually like respond to and I'm like, bro, this is fucking hilarious. Or like, or like I'll send laughing emojis and they'll like DM me back to be like, all love though, bro. Like all love, like blah blah. Like I love your podcast. It's all love. Yeah, and I'm like, haha, you just called me five two. Like no, it's not love. Anyways though, okay, go ahead and ask your question though. Yes, I was gonna ask you guys. What are your guys' smoothest, like, most, like, like, outstanding DMs? I don't know why the fuck I said outstanding. Like, that I've gotten? Yes, or, like, DMs that just, like... That hit? Or that just, hit, just that crazy? Hit. Just, like, hit. It could have been crazy, or it could have been smooth. Honestly, I couldn't like tell you, but I know there's some good-ass ones that deserve a response back, but sometimes I just forget. Mm. Yeah. Mm. There was one that literally was just so plain and simple. She was, like... Fuck it, I don't got no pickup line. Here's my number, and I was like, <laughs> like literally just point. like that, and I was like, all right, bet. That's, that's, that's a good one. Yeah, you like, guys fuck with that, like straight to the point. But dudes are so yeah. like, dudes are so simple. Yeah, like you, you really don't need to go out of your way to do something crazy to like that. To crazy. Mm-hmm. If he's into you, he's into you. Like if he thinks you're pretty, you're, like you're, you're set. No doubt. That's literally it. But I don't be responding to like DMs, period, that are like hitting on me or anything like that. Like I don't be responding. I don't. Re- I don't either. Yeah. I don't think if it has like a subscriber type of point because you were gonna say that next. I'm sorry. I'd- Weren't you gonna ask like the follow up question? Yeah. Oh, this wasn't. I was gonna ask another one, but actually this ties into it. So yes. The subscriber. Would I date a subscriber? Yes. Okay. So look, I'm I'm thinking of it as like. Wait, wait. The question is, would you date would you a date a subscriber or like a follower? I got you, girl. Like a fan. Okay. So what I'm what I'm thinking is like. I think it's kind of just regular, you know what I mean? Like, I because before even when I wasn't doing this shit and I was getting like followers, like just uh, no, not I wasn't getting followers at all like that. But I would see a girl, I'd be like, oh, she's cute, you know what I mean? But if I see a girl now, I'm like, oh, she's cute. She's like a regular thing. I don't think she. What if? What if they're but like? But then a I huge think about fan. it, like she wa- they watch, like you know what I mean? That so I'm like, I don't know. Sage, what if they're like a huge fan though? <sighs> like, where's your boy? I don't, think, I don't think they would say that though. I don't think they would say that. I feel like it would be kind of like a okay. a closeted around joke. What, what if she was like, what if, listen, listen, listen. <laughs> wait, what did you say? Wait, a closeted around joke. Like, you like, what if like you freaking, you like met a girl, right? And you start dating her. You go to her house. She has like she Rancho shine. Boy mugs and shit. Oh God, what, if, like, what if she got like bed sheets that are Rancho Boy bed sheets and like, yeah. <laughs> Like like everything goes well and then she's like you should come over and you go over and it's like all you, like rancho boys. Her house everything. is just full with like rancho boys. <laughs> yeah. Posters, your face literally on a bug. Okay. But you're into her though, right? <laughs> yeah, but you're into her though. <laughs> I would be weirded out, bro. I'd be weird out as fuck. I you can't tell me that's not weird. I think I'd feel like the it. man. I know you would love it. Like you would love that. You would feel like Why would that? I love it? But why would I would you do? We're talking about date. You would want yeah, just class and cheeks though, and you'd be like, even, I know you, bro. bro. If you're like in a, it's gotta be like an even, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, not like a, I don't know. If it's like a fan, I feel like it's a little, that's why a lot of famous people don't date fans, if you've noticed. True. Like, yeah. Like, like I don't think you should fuck fans. Wait, I, who said that? She was talking about dating. I know, but well, I'm saying, what I'm, I'm <laughs> thinking, on, I'm thinking <laughs> on a different level. Like, this, I don't think you should do that, but I think it would be okay to date a fan. I definitely, okay, okay. But if you it's, date a fan, you would be fucking them. But fucking is different oh, than dating. But fucking? Like, <laughs> oh, oh, now we're that on this too. Topic. That's <laughs> no, but uh, that's different though. You know what I mean? Because yeah. fucking, I I feel like they'll know a lot more about you than you know about them off rips. Though would that be kind of weird? Yeah, like you pour, you guys pour out. I'm saying your personalities into this. Yeah, like they're gonna know a lot about you, especially if they're a big fan. Mm-hmm. And then it's gonna be kind of weird. They're gonna know a lot. Yeah, and, like imagine yeah. you just on a date. Like, say, remember yeah. that one time on the podcast? Like, oh, wouldn't yeah. that be like weird? I was like texting this girl, and then I didn't know that she watched the videos, and then she told me like. What she say? She said something about the podcast, and I was like, "She brought it up," and I was like, "Oh shit, I didn't know you watch them." She's like, "Yeah, I watch them all the time." I was like, "Oh, it did make me feel kind of weird, but not in a fact where I just wanted to stop talking to her." Yeah, definitely not. Um, I think I did a fan, for sure. I think I think yeah, like, for sure. But I think it's I think I'd have to like meet them like first, like right off the bat, like mm. not like I don't think I I don't think I'd like have a fan DM me and then actually oh, meet okay, up. Oh, okay, okay, okay. You okay. know what I mean? I think we'd have to like. See each other like in real life. And you're lying. Yeah, you're lying. So, uh, if she was, if she was fine, bro. I know your you ass would be no, like, yeah. yes, no, you no, would. No, no, yeah, no, 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 no. I know. I think Nick. I feel like Nick's gone past that. Yeah, no, 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 bro. I think that would have been like him like a year ago. Okay, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. talking about this, nigga. <laughs> okay, you got a point. You got a good point. You got Do a you good hear point. this, man? You could just sit, you could hear. No, no, no. Wait, I feel like that was old Nick. That was like when we first started, Nick. I feel like Nick now is like, you know, what I'm saying like. He wouldn't do that. I feel like Nick, hey. you know what I'm saying? Like, we compose now. Even if, even if, 
She was super bad. I feel like Nick would just run all like, bro, 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 look at this girl. She's so fine, bro. She just hit me up. But, then he, yeah. but then he wouldn't do anything about it. He just looked like, oh, she yeah. just hit me up. Really? He, just, he still does that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> See, I know. Man. I just don't get bitches. That's funny. Anyways. Um, Wait, random what? question, random question. Like, what's, like, the demographic of, like, people that, like, watch? Like, like where are they? Because I was about to say, like, I, like, whenever somebody, like, recognize me all the way on the East Coast, I'll always, like, text Nick and be like, yo, like, that's crazy. You know what I'm saying? Like, so I'm curious to know, like, where are most people when Literally, they watch Literally, bro, I get... I get messages and like DMs from people all Everywhere. over the world. Yeah, world. it's like yeah. fucking crazy. Yeah, the demographic. Sure. I think like the majority definitely has to be. Um, actually, I don't know, bro. Like, I, I couldn't tell you. I want to say it's like on the West Coast. But we got hella people in like Florida. Comment like, where you from? Yeah, comment yeah. where you're from. Yeah. Actually, comment where you're from. Hey. No, in the Discord that you made, um, there's people like from like Australia and fucking New Zealand. Like, yeah, see, New that's Zealand, a trust yeah. me, bro. That's a and trip. like uh, like Philippines. Like, like nah, it's crazy. Cool. Oh yeah, Philippines. There's this one guy. I fuck with that though. It's super cool. That's I love I all you guys. That. Yeah, and they all like real. conversate in it. Too, yeah, so it's like. Nah, it's crazy because like they, like they need to, everybody needs to join that Discord, but yes, everybody's yeah. fucking dope. Like you know what I mean? Like I love to chat with them. You guys seriously need to hop in the Discord. We're in there like every so often, yeah. literally conversating with all y'all and everyone. Like literally, like they like he said, bro. Like yeah. everyone's talking to each other. Like it's it's sick. Nick mm -hmm. just gets funny. <laughs> I just get made fun, <laughs> but it's still sick as fuck. Like definitely. Nick join. is a punchline of all jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Nick about to start an OnlyFans. No. He need that bread. Mm -hmm. Would you start an OnlyFans? No. If I didn't have anything else going for me, yeah. That's a good answer. <laughs> yeah. That's a good answer. That's yeah. a good answer. I'll, I'll agree with that one. If I had nothing going. No. If I had nothing going for me, I think I would. So would you rather be homeless or have an OnlyFans? OnlyFans? I would not want to be homeless. <laughs> Get, your Get your money up. OnlyFans. Get your money up, not your funny up. I don't think it would be a bad idea. It's not a bad idea. I don't think it's a bad idea. No. It might come back to haunt you, though. Good. Mm -hmm. How so? Jobs. Taxes and jobs, man. Taxes. Okay, and what jobs. I'm saying is look, nothing going for you. So, uh, well, I was saying, like, I forgot like? who I was having this conversation with, but, like, the only way you can get, you know, people always talk about, oh, I'm going to drop out and start OnlyFans, right? But the only way you can really have a successful OnlyFans is if you promote yourself. And, like, people are always yeah. talking about, like, oh, I'm going to have OnlyFans, make it private. Yeah. But you're not going to get popular yeah, unless nah, you promote yeah. yourself. So, so everyone you know is going to have to find out. That's yeah. Yeah. So, it's like, yeah. if you're willing to give up that, you know what I'm saying, like, then there's a chance. But if you're not, yeah. then you can't. Yeah. Also, like, when you promote it, they won't even, like, you know how people get famous off of, like, feet pics or fucking, like, bikini pics? They won't even know what you're doing. So, people are just going to assume you're, like, throwing your news out there, which is fine. But, like, a lot of people don't want that associated with them. True. Yeah. True. Makes sense. Um... But yeah, did that answer the question basically about like if we date a subscriber? Yeah. Would you date a subscriber? No. <laughs> you wouldn't. Yeah, like modest too cool. Here. No, yeah. not because I'm too cool. It's just like <laughs> I don't want to meet a person through like DMs. I was gonna say that. I was thinking about that. I was like, but DMs is not a successful way. If you're saying like, if you really want to like, like finesse, bro, DMs. Uh, how else are you supposed to talk to her? Bro? That's the thing. That's the thing. If, if DMs is the only way, you know what I'm saying like you could talk to a girl. I guess that's your last route. But if you really want to be successful, do not DM a girl. Are you okay, saying? Are you saying? Are you saying like like? Are you saying like if you see her like in person, then DM her? Like no, no that's the worst like, thing you could do. If no, yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. Is that what you're saying? I'm saying like DMing is the worst thing you can do unless like that's your only way of communication with yeah, that girl. Like if if you're living here and a girl's in like let's say like Texas and your only way of talking to her is like do dm yeah go ahead and dm but like yeah. you're the like you know i'm saying like your average you know i'm saying a batting average it's not gonna be good like, from dm like it, let's say we go to a, a function or something like that and we see a girl there or we see this girl like every so often at this house and you follow her on instagram or you know her instagram don't dm her yeah, wait till the next time you see her and yeah. then hit on her that's what you're saying right yes Unless yeah. like, unless like, you see this girl on Instagram, you ne you've never seen her in real life before. And you can't, you, you can never meet her. You know, yeah, what that's I mean? the thing. If there's no other hope, then yeah, yeah go DM her yeah. if you really think she's yeah, attractive. I, had, didn't you say it once before, or maybe it was Cynthia that said it, like how like one time like you talked to a guy, you saw a guy, and you met a guy, and he didn't say anything to you, but when you got home, he DM'd you. That's the worst. Was that you that just talking oh, yeah. about that? And then you were like, that's, that's just weird. weird. That's like, gotta be weird. I mean, that just means he like he just don't got as much confidence, and I'm saying that's probably not. I mean, I don't know, Mario, take it away. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah i remember talking about that it was just like oh man he couldn't approach me in real life he had to like find me on instagram and and message me that way so are you saying like it's weird it's just it's just it's like okay this it's guy not got no weird game. it's just like uh, it's, turn off. Is it a turn off? it's more like i wish he talked to me in real life that would have been better yeah like that would have given him like a higher chance of like me like being more interested in him i think like yeah. with him yeah ah. That actually makes sense. Yeah. I agree with you though on the DM part. Like I don't think 
DMing works. But like, let's say it was like my. I confirm it doesn't work. Fucking answer me, bro. You see my DM. DMs do not work. (laughs) I'm so surprised that I don't. Dude, they never text back, bro. Is that kind of crazy? It's so bad. You know why? You know why it's bad? This shit fucking. I'm like, bro. You see my shit, bro. At least be like, I see it. You know what I mean? If you if I ever DM you, just say I see it. You don't gotta say anything (laughs) back. Just say that you see it, bro. He always asks me. He's like, dude, should I shoot my shot? And I'm always the one like. Fuck yeah, dude, do it. Yeah. And then it'll be like two days later, he's like, they have an answer. Like, <laughs> yeah, bro. Can it's you, so like, depressing. Like, can you imagine if there's like a filter where you could see all the DMs you've ever sent, but no one ever, like, no one ever responded? Yeah, I would probably so kill you myself, do, you delete bro. them? After, like, I delete them for yeah. sure. I don't, want, I, don't want the, I don't want to see that shit yeah, again. Yeah, like, what I'm the saying, fuck? I never did it. Once you delete it, it's gone. It never, never <laughs> happened. I never saying, like, it never happened. That shit never happened. I never texted you. Yeah. Unless I screenshotted oh, it. <sighs> and they sent in the group chat. <sighs> <laughs> okay, but what about in, just real quick? What about in my situation where I said if you met like a subscriber or a fan in real life, mm-hmm. is that different? And he was cool and we vibed. Yeah, I give it a chance. Mm, yeah. Okay. Take notes, gentlemen. Okay, it's just because like I personally want like to meet someone naturally. Next question of the night: Do you guys believe that if a girl is truly loyal to her man, she won't respond to any DM? Period. Like you know how like. It's kind of like a joke or something, or like oh, like the door is open, yeah. or if it's yeah. like I have a man type. Yeah, like even if a girl like answers a DM like oh I have a man, it's kind of like well why are you even responding? That's a little weird if you think that. Well, what do you what do you like, think about it? You just yeah. rejected you. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's not just a rejection. I, don't know. I think no. you're looking too deep into it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I think some people care. I don't know. Because I've seen I've seen like videos of where it's like yo bro like if she responds. Like, what is she doing responding? You know what? But I've seen some shit where let's be like, like some guy, some guy would be like sliding the DMs and she'd be like, Elmo, you know, you know, I got a man right now. I, that would be that's weird. weird. That's now, weird. Now, now, that would be, weird. I've, I've, seen, I've seen that before. And I've, that's and I've fucked heard up. About that. Like, you know, I got a man right now. Like, that's some weird ass yeah, shit. Weird. Right now, the right is now. Is the right, right now is weird or just the LMAO? Weird. It, uh, I feel like Even both kind of. You know, like, like, like the you know is kind of weird, bro. Like if you're like, you know, I got a man. Like, mm. so let's say let's say a dude slides in with like a funny joke and she responds with, ha ha ha, I got a man's. Nah, that's not. That's no. That's suspect. No, She's no, like, no, no, no. That's just. Uh, I don't know, bro. Now you got me thinking. <laughs> I don't know. I know. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> yeah. It's tricky. Yeah. Um, ah, damn, that's a tough one. I really don't know if he should even like respond. Like, like yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm kind of on, I'm kind of on the the wavelength of like, why are you even responding? You know? Yeah. Because I don't think I would be like. I mean, LMAO, you like, know I got a girl. Like, what the yeah. fuck? The only, the only DMs I responded to is like when people were like. Uh, like for instance, back then we had like that mental health podcast, and like mm-hmm. people were like, "Thank you for touching." Like, okay, see, that's different. Of course, that's different. Like that, where they're like, that's "What if somebody's hitting on you?" Like, you oh no, that's what I'm saying. But like, like think about it in like that sense. You like, it's kind of like, why are you responding if you have a boyfriend? But that's different, though. You're laughing at her joke. Like, what? No, you don't need to let her know that the joke was funny. Keep that shit to yourself. <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah. No, that's what I'm saying. That like, even, even, I think even if you were to get hit on it, you would say. El Mayo, I got a man. Mm-hmm. I don't know why you would be responding to something that's like like that irrelevant, you know? right? Yeah, it's like it's yeah. kind of like you shouldn't really even touch on that. What if it actually made her laugh though? And that's Who why she said shit. El Mayo. Okay, then you're done. You know, you lost you lost your girl, man. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, you don't need to let them know it was funny. Yeah. But if if all you say is nah i have a i have a boyfriend or no i have a then that's like pure rejection yeah yeah that's I like because i've seen that on tiktok too and like like she, if she, even if she responds to that it's like oh well she left the door open because she responded it's like no uh, you just got fucking rejected maybe you like yeah. don't want to hear more dms so you tell them that i don't know yeah it just sounds yeah. like you're it's yeah, not yeah, to yeah, me no, to good. me it sounds like insecurity when yeah, like, yeah for sure it does too when people are like you left the door open after the girl clearly said uh like i have a boyfriend you know what i mean mm. What do you think, David? I agree. Same thing. Like, if you guys, for some reason, were on your girl's, like, Instagram in the DMs and you just saw, like, that text, like, a guy hitting on her and she was like, I got a man's. Yeah, even if she showed me, I'd, like, trust it even more. You oh, know for what sure. Mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Okay. But the LMAO part or the laughing part is then becoming suspect. 
Like what say the example like the, Sage gave? The, what I said, that's a perfect yeah. I mean, LMAO could be even disrespectful, but I feel like some people sometimes say they, they say LMAO to be like mean. They'd be like LMAO. Okay, yeah, that's kind of true. With the uncapitalized. Yeah, like uncapitalized. I hate when, when Carrie does that shit, bro. You ever see when Carrie does that shit? That shit pisses me off, bro. Like like Carrie does. They're just saying something. They just say LMAO at the end for no reason. Yeah. Like if they got if they say like I got a boyfriend right now, LMAO. Even worse, LOL, uncapitalized at the end. I just don't like when people say that at all. I you say it funny though, lol. Uh, <laughs> Dude, when I hate when I get in like a text argument with somebody and they they be like answering text with like lol at the end. That's yeah. Mm, I hate that. that. That's dry. Yeah, yeah, that's super dry, bro. Hey, bro, did you hear about the exciting news from our friends at Manscaped? Yeah, I did. Are you talking about the lawnmower, bro? I'm talking about their fourth generation performance package. What? The leaders in male grooming have done it again to make your grooming game next level. Join the four million men worldwide who trust Manscaped with the new performance package 4.0 by going to manscaped.com for. 20 20% off free shipping with the code Rancho Boys. Let me tell you what the hell is inside this package. There's a lawnmower 4.0, there's a weed whacker for your ears and nose, and there's even ball deodorant, bro. Isn't that crazy? There's ball deodorant, bro? Ball deodorant, Wait, bro. Wait, there's gotta be more. <laughs> there's, there's definitely more, let me tell you. Car Reviver Toner, there's performance boxer briefs, and a travel bag to hold your stuff. Their fourth generation trimmer features a cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents thanks to their advanced skin safe technology. Oh, you know what, bro? I forgot to mention, it's waterproof. No fucking way. Fuck yeah. Not only is the fourth generation trimmer waterproof, but the weed whacker is as well. This nose and ear hair trimmer provides proprietary skin safe technology, which helps prevent nicks, snags, and tugs in those delicate holes. And I hate that. Seal the deal with Manscaped's liquid formulations, their crop preserver ball deodorant for before leaving the house, and crop reviver ball toner for a mid-game ball check. <laughs> <laughs> Trust Straight me up. when I say this, fellas. Your balls will thank you. Hell yeah. And you know what they threw in for you, bro? Two new free gifts in the performance package in the 4.0. <laughs> the Manscaped boxers and the Shed travel bag. Bring your comfort in boxers to another level. Get 20% off plus free shipping with the code RANCHOBOYS at manscaped.com. That's 20% off and free shipping with code RANCHOBOYS at manscaped.com. Your balls have been through enough this past year. Treat them with the best tools for the job from Manscaped. Nothing like some shaved balls, man. Ain't nothing like it. I'll go ahead and put the link in the description as well as the promo code. Other than that, guys, enjoy the rest of the podcast. That answered my question. Uh, next question, though. So um, the last podcast, we were talking about how guys are usually only, girl only girls. Guys are usually friends with girls because they're trying to hit, right? Like, that's what we were talking about last podcast. Yeah. We kind of got in depth with it. So... Would you say that it goes the other way around with girls? Mm, good Would question. <laughs> wait, so you guys agreed <laughs> that? Guys? I, d I didn't. That's I what. Agree okay, with wait, that hold on. In the first place. Because I didn't really get to say much last time on that. When they were like, oh, like, you're only friends with a girl if she's pretty or you don't want to hit. And I didn't really agree on that at all. Well, what do you think about that? Then? I think, fuck no. Like, I could have, you could have a friends girlfriend, yeah, you though, like, like just a regular fucking girlfriend. You know what I mean? I could have girlfriends. If we're all we're humans at the end of the day, man. Man, shut up, David. <laughs> shut up, David. I'm, I'm, that sounds so fake. Yeah. David, David. God damn. Wait, who who disagreed? Did y'all disagree that you can't have friends? So with this? I, I have I have I have like homegirls and then they were talking about first how like it's different if you're their childhood friends. Like childhood friends is very different. So like a friend just made is like not So there so then what they were talking about in the last podcast that I agreed with is like if you're making friends now and you're like actively trying to be their friend that then it's like you're trying to hit like that's what? the whole point that's yeah but, but actively trying to be a friend is different oh you weren't here either I mean. yeah you weren't here actively. yeah we isn't it sound actually? weird yeah. it sounds yeah okay. it does sound ridiculous bro for example for example right i go to a party i'm very like casual with like some of the girls that we hang out with right because yeah, yeah, i'm not but the, and i would i consider them my friend right but i'm not like texting them like i text you guys though but i don't text really anybody yeah. and they're still my <laughs> fucking friend even if it's a girl or not I could have a girl best friend and I don't text her like at all. <laughs> I could. I don't, I, I, am, no, I, yeah. am I right? Am I my, wrong? Am, am I right? Am I wrong? My, my girl best friend, I don't even text her. I don't her. text like, her. And we're like, we're like that. I feel like most people only text their significant other like a lot. Yeah. Right? I don't think I text like big three no, people. Like, people you know our I mean? age don't be texting no. like that much. Maybe like the younger generation. I don't know. We can't. You know what I'm saying? Like none of us are that young. So we don't know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What did they it's say in last podcast? Like because we weren't elaborating that much last podcast. We were just saying they only talk. had like a certain like three topics on it. Uh, and that we just had to go based off that. We didn't really elaborate too much. But when I was, I was, cause I went home and I was kind of thinking about, I was like, mm, I watched over the podcast. I was like, that doesn't really sound like 
Right. Mm. I can't even remember what they were trying to say. Okay, so what they were trying... I know exactly what they're trying to say. It's just like... Because a lot of men think this way, though. Like, they're only friends with girls that they're, like, physically attracted to. Or like Christine said, I never thought of this one before, but after Christine said it, I was like, oh, that makes sense. The ugly part like, didn't make sense. When she said... No. It, yeah. That, what that, did she say? Wait, wait, what did she say? Wait, yeah, what did she say? She said... So she said heard, that... Yeah. Yeah. Guys are only friends with girls for three reasons. Okay. One, they're trying to hit. Second is their childhood friends. Or three, because they're she's attractive. ugly and no no, because Oh wait, you didn't say that part yet though. They're trying to hit. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Uh their childhood know. friends. Or because they're ugly and they just want something from them. Like to use them for like homework or something like that. That's what she was trying to say. What the isn't fuck? That, isn't that kind of great? I was thinking about it after I was like, uh, dude, no that's way. horrible. That last part I was like that one I was that's right. where we were all like no that's not a friend that's just someone No I, I remember that part. Yeah. But the rest that, still that. still wasn't right. Yeah. yeah. Uh-uh dude. But again at the end of the day Christine would just said that she didn't believe in platonic relationships. Oh she said period. that. Okay. okay she okay. said she doesn't believe that. Really? Period. Yeah. Oh, so she she doesn't believe that a guy and a girl can just be like platonically friends. Unless those three They're trying to get reasons. something out of them. Unless they're trying to get out of oh, hate. Blah, blah blah. I mean agree to disagree I guess. I mean if that's what she believes in. Same. But you don't believe that. You believe that you I, guys I mean, can't not, be friends not, with the girls. Yeah, not everyone's gonna think like that. Maybe yeah, there's a sure. certain demographic of people who think like that. Yeah, for sure. Like I saying some people definitely that. have evil no, intentions yeah, and sure, they don't for like sure, for sure. saying they're not genuine with how they move. But okay. I think like I'm saying like some people can't think that way. Yeah. Saying it could be true too. Do you think that most guys are friends with girls purely because they're trying to hit? See, okay, I'm thinking about that right now, and <laughs> it's it is a good question. I'm thinking about it because I know a lot of guys that are just fucking. Dogs, yeah, like, like yeah, it, it really is. People. And bad. this is where I tap. That's where I tapped, and I said most guys. Thinking about that's it, why I said it's fair enough for fair for her. Yeah, to say yeah, that it's, fair. Sure. it's definitely it's fair. fair, definitely fair. But we don't yeah. really surround ourselves with people like in that sense, and we're not really out with girls that we're really like trying to hit. You know what I mean? Like at the end of the day, we're not. We're like we're around with friends. At the end of the day, and we're family. Not, like it's like family friends. That's where who we're kicking yeah, it with. That's where it's different yeah. for us. Yeah, and that's where like. Like I typed in and I was like, you know, like I was agreeing, like or I, like you were talking about it, and you were like, no, I would not. I have mm-hmm. friends that I would not get with. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, but let's agree. I feel mm-hmm. like most guys though, yeah. are only friends with girls because they're trying to hit, mm-hmm. especially yeah. when they're younger. See, I just couldn't like remember it, like any of like things like that because we haven't kicked it with anybody that we. Yeah, like Sage so put it in a really good way. It's like we've only really been around each other. Mm-hmm. And it's That's like, true. like I haven't seen anyone from high school in a long fucking time. Yeah, I like I've seen them like, literally a handful. Like, of see, high younger mindset, like for sure. Like little sixteen-year-old me, like on Snapchat school, and shit. High like yeah, yeah, high, it's different when you're Definitely. younger. Mm-hmm. But if you're older with that like mindset, like it's kind of kind of weird. It's, it is Immature, weird, bro. weird. Pretty grown, yeah. 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 It's I, just like you just yeah you never grew as a person at that point. But I think for girls, it's like a common like thing, and I think that's why Christine believes that because she probably like. I feel yeah. like a lot of girls could agree with this. Like, have had an experience where, like, a friend... They, someone who they thought was their friend was has their tried friend, something with was them. Was low-key, like, just trying to get at them. And mm. they were just, like, attracted to them. That's why they were trying to be friends. I don't know what to think about d- in situations like that when, like, a guy who's supposed to be your friend admits to having feelings for you and, like, wanting something more, right? It's like, they're just being truthful about their feelings. Like, they can't control their feelings. But it's just like, damn, like, you couldn't just be my friend type shit, you know? Like, I wish you could have just been my friend because... That happened to me. I was super close with this guy, right? We were, like, super tight for years in high school. And then, like, he, like, confessed to me. And, like, after that, literally right after, like, that was the last text. Him confessing to me and, I, I'm like, me replying to it. And after that, we never talked again. Damn. Yeah. But- so... Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. It sucks, but like it happens. Yeah, it's like, it's your decision to, like, work it out, like, and stay friends. Or if you're not comfortable with it, obviously end it, like... Yeah. Nothing wrong with it. It's whatever you're comfortable with after. Were you I, sad? I Of course I was sad. That was like my friend, dude. Yeah. But I would, it's just like, I would, I wish we could have been friends still, but I don't want to do that to him. Like, obviously he's going to feel some type of way, so. Okay, so follow up question, then we, just, we can get back to the original question asked. Let's say there is like somebody watching this. Let's say somebody does have feelings for their like homegirl or homeboy. I saw this one. Mm-hmm. Would you... Would you say that they should still confess their feelings or no? Yeah. Yeah. 
you still Not think they should confess their feelings even if it ruins the do you guys think that it always ruins the relationship if you confess uh, confess your feelings to yeah, yeah. It'll, ruin, it'll ruin it it'll ruin it but like i think you should i'm saying you shouldn't live with like i'm saying that self yeah. so if you're really into somebody i'm saying you, you gotta shoot you gotta shoot your shot no shoot your shot i don't game. think like that i don't think like that either i don't think like that either. i just say like hmm, like I don't know. I just, uh, you know what I mean. Like, I think I, I think it's very dependent on like your friendship. Like, if you don't want to yes. ruin the friendship, like, and it's solely, ju- you know what I mean. Like, because you can have a crush, and you know what I mean. Like, you can have a crush, but crushes go away. But if you're like, if you like this person for like, I'm talking about like a year, right? Or like, all you think about is this person like all the time, blah blah, for a long period of time. That's when I would say confess. But if you just have like a moment where you're like, damn, like this girl's. Gonna- this girl's kind of cute, you know, blah, blah, blah. Like, my friend's kind of cute. Like, you have that one moment is you develop a crush and it's short term. I would say, like, keep that shit to yourself. I mean, if it's, like, a long, I'm saying, like, long lasting. If it's like, long lasting, then that's very different. Attraction, then yes. Yeah. yeah. Like, that's facts, Nick, yeah. I mean, if it's something you think about every night when you go to bed type shit, like, yeah, that's you crazy. probably should do it. Don't, yeah. let it. don't let it affect, like, your other parts of your life. Yeah. That's true. And it's also how much you value the friendship. Like, what's more important to you? Like, letting them know you like them, maybe having a chance with them, or do you care about their friendship more than that? Exactly. Yeah. So what's your thought then? Would you tell like somebody that likes their their homegirl or homeboy? Would you say send it, or would you say like just sit on it for a little bit? I'd say does it keep you up at night? Yeah. Good. That's answer. a great question. Yeah. Good. Answer. You answered yes. Tell him. <laughs> if it's somebody you can get over, then I'm saying like let, look, let it be. But if it's not, then yeah. Try. I think there's different type of people though, because I'm the type of person I could just not say anything for a long time. You know what I mean? I could hold it to myself even if I have feelings for. Probably even a year. I could just be like not saying anything. They probably wouldn't. Maybe they know. Maybe they don't. Yeah. I won't say anything though. And like I was going to say, like Nick said, sometimes it could be like a freaking fleeting crush. Yeah. Like, yeah. you know? But sometimes it's hard to tell though. You know? It's like, do no, I really it's, like this person? It's or? very hard to tell, but I would just say, like, just sit on it. Like, yeah, wait it, wait it out a little bit. Yeah, like, even if it's keeping you up at night, I would literally say, literally sit on it for like, I want to say like a month, bro. Like, seriously, like, just wait on it a month. Cause sometimes, it, like, I called it a crush because crushes come and go like all the time. No, for real. Think about how, yeah. You know what I mean? But if you like somebody though, that's way different. And liking someone I feel like is like, like, I don't know, fucking crushing on them for longer than a month. I don't, I don't know how to explain it. <laughs> I, I was like, I, I didn't even have, I didn't even know how to explain You're it. You're about to go someone. in though. I was, I was. I, was I, lost, I was like, liking someone, I don't know. Liking someone is thinking about them twenty four seven. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's it goes runs deeper than crush. You get yeah. You get a text from them and like your heart's skipping a beat. Stuff like, like you that. want that's, to marry them. Yeah, like that's that's <laughs> like yeah, that's liking someone. You know. So if you want to marry them, yeah. Good answer. Uh, <laughs> right. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys got anything else? That's true. Anything else to add? Or, um, no. You said everything, Nick. Like that was like wow. I agree with everything you said. Yeah, I can't add on to that. Yeah. you got it. <laughs> I have stuff to say too, guys. I'm not just five two. No, yeah, Nick. <laughs> Thank you for listening. Um, okay, but back to the original question. Okay, so the very original question was, do guys only befriend girls because they're trying to hit? Okay. Then my my follow up question was, do girls only befriend guys to hit? Hell no. What if it's an attractive guy though? Mm. Would you ever try to befriend an attractive guy? Like, would you ever? See an attractive guy okay. in real life, talk with him, and then just want to be their friend. Like, you find him attractive. But then I would just never, like, like get with him. Like, you would just never say anything. Or insinuate that you want to do anything more than Exactly, exactly. If I'm, like, attracted to him, no, why? I would tell him. I'd be, I'd make it obvious, like, hey, I'm trying to get at you. Okay. Okay, yeah. so then you're saying that most girls, like, uh, that if there's an attractive guy that comes around and you guys start talking, like, you're not really going to try and be his friend. That's what I mean. Yeah, I have a side question. Oh yeah. Would you would you like let him know right away, or would you wait to become friends first? Like, no, I wouldn't do the friend thing. I wouldn't try to be friends with him. You'd flirt so off the you, bat. If I'm physically attracted to a guy, would I try to become friends with him first and then get at him ish, or would I just get at him from the start? Is yes, that- I think both girls and guys can like you know, be like, friend, talk. The, be friend, yes. be friend the opposite yes. gender to hit. Yes. Okay, but, but I, I my question do is: Do most girls befriend guys to hit? No, girls. Okay. Girls don't because, dude, that's lucky you're using them a little bit. 
I don't like it when guys do that. Like, they're only trying to be friends with you to hit. Like, no. They're only being nice to you. They're only, like, doing nice things for you because they're trying to hit. Yes, but girls are not like that because girls are real. And they will, like, let you know, like, hey, <laughs> honestly, I'm trying to hit. Or, <laughs> like, I feel like... No, no, no. I was just going to say, I was just going to say, like, the question just changes when you say attractive. You know what I'm saying? Like, when you put that in there it's like if it's yeah. like if you can say like you put an objective like same looking girl <laughs> slash boy you can say like everything even <laughs> variables all the same what do you call it when all the variables are the same it's called something um call it? Come on, con- all variables controlled <laughs> controlled, controlled variables control? Control controlled variables, variables. Controlled variables. <laughs> controlled variables. <laughs> okay <laughs> controlled variables okay. I don't know. <laughs> I know me and you are the same page the way we're looking at each other right now. Yeah. What's yeah. the page? So what's the page? page? So what is the question? Shh. It okay. <laughs> what's the page? Because <laughs> like Okay, I don't want to. You can do, you can do it. No, you. Dude, I'll elaborate off you. No, I'll elaborate off you. I'll go. No. What's the page? I'll elaborate off you. Like, I'll back you up on it. <laughs> I don't know, cause like, okay, when you say, fuck no, like it's like, fuck no to what? Cause she said hell no. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Sage so okay, okay, felt okay. some type of way about like, it. Like <laughs> I, I don't, I don't know. You know what I mean? Cause I know some girls that are definitely like different, but I feel like it's just a way. Ah, uh, you know what? I don't want to say that. Just say it. No, I'm not just gonna say that. Devin, say, say it. it. No. The way what? I don't even know what you're okay, gonna say. Okay, you go, you go. I, no, I, I don't even know, know what you're gonna say. say. I don't even know what you're gonna say. I look you zoned out, bro. You shouldn't, you shouldn't have put me in the middle of these two. What is your answer to it? To what? <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> no, just read, read that. Oh my god, bro! Obviously, y'all were going at it, and I just told you, like, <laughs> dog. So she said, "Hell no" to the fact that it's girls, that girls don't just befriend guys to hit, dude. I, my no. opinion, it goes both ways. Okay, but let's that's what I'm talk, saying. You can't deny just, that, like, yeah, like how you said, everybody's human, bro. Like, <laughs> yeah. like yeah. no girls, be like, like not every girl has that mindset of mm-hmm. like, I just want to be friends. You know what I mean? Everybody's fucking different. And like that's just the basis. But there's more though. You, I mean, you could probably get it. Personally, I think guys, guys do. Guys more. definitely 100% do. That's the real more. debate. I feel like that's what it is. Uh, but to say like hell no, girls. Yeah, see, because I feel like it's speaking on on behalf of girls. That's what I'm saying. That's not. You're speaking on behalf of the girls. I don't think a lot of girls are like that. If yes. we're being real, mm-hmm. but I don't I do think a lot more. guys are. Guys, guys are gonna do it way more. I agree. Guys do it way more. But yes. Yeah. Okay, obviously not everyone yeah. in the world. I'm just saying, like, generally. Yes. And that's what I'm saying. It just feel, it feels like that, you know Because I mean? you said, you when you hit it with the hell no, me and Sage were like, what? Yeah, <laughs> okay, but we agreed that most guys are befriending yes, girls. Yes, I, yes, what yes, about yes, yes. most girls? Like I said, no. They're not you're befriending. Saying, you're saying it's a minority. <laughs> a minority that does it, not a majority. Yes, I feel like majority of girls don't befriend a guy to hit. Like, the, to, in, with intentions to hit. Mm. If they want to hit, they'll probably make it obvious to the guy, like, hey, I'm trying to hit. Yeah. But I feel like guys are. I, 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 I agree with that. I see I it. Agree I, with see that. it. I, I see it. But, right? but the thing I is, I've like been like, that. I've had a lot of friendships that were like friends in the beginning and they're like, oh, like on a different kind of vibe after. Like, not even like like later on. Yeah, the, exactly. Yeah, like, okay, okay. And it's like, you kind of know that it's been on that wave, but you just never knew that it was like that from the beginning. Uh, and then you realize that. And after. then you're like, oh, okay. Like, yeah. But, like, you could tell that she always had those intentions yes. instead of, like, her catching feelings later. Mm-hmm. Mm, got it, got it, got it. I mean, I think it's fair to say that just guys do it more. Yes. Like, it's, yes. I think it's yeah. very yeah, fair yeah, to yeah, say very, that. Very, very, very. Like, if you really generalize, like, both, like, you saying genders, you could easily say guys do it more. Got it. I think that was kind of the answer to the question. Agreed. Like, yeah. Guys definitely yeah. do it more than girls, but girls, you know say they do do it. They you still do it. Yeah. They do it. Yeah. They do. Yeah. That makes sense. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Stop saying that, right? <laughs> Sorry. Um, <laughs> do you have one more question to ask? So, um... This subscriber, she wanted me to ask you guys because she's curious. Mm -hmm. She says, like, um, there's this thing going around. Like, people think that the prettiest girls don't get hit on. Or, like, the prettiest girls get hit on the least. Or... (laughs) Hey, remember we... uh, Sorry. (laughs) No, it's okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm going to start again. This is why... Don't let Nick ridicule you. Okay. I'm ready. I'm ready. (laughs) Got it. Okay. So, basically, some people think that the prettiest girls do not get approached a lot because they're so intimidating to guys because they're so pretty. So guys are scared of rejection. That came out that a way different sense. way. That yeah. came out a way different way than what you were saying in the beginning. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. That's a good question. That's a very good fucking question. True. True. It it's true. true. It is I, true. Because I have actually had conversations with some like beautiful women that say like. I'll be like, oh, you gotta get hit on like a lot. Like somehow I, I fucking end up talking to her. I don't know fucking how. Yeah. And they're just like, no, like I don't. And I'm like, well, you're beautiful. And they're like, uh, like I think they even recognize the fact that it's like, 
when you're like the most beautiful person in the room, a lot of guys would probably be looking at you, but they don't approach. That's a real thing. Just fear of rejection. Do you think that the prettiest girls don't get hit on because guys are scared of rejection? Yeah, I could, I could see that. Mm -hmm. Definitely. I agree with that, dude. You know what I noticed, though? I feel like the guys that do approach the prettiest girls, though, mm -hmm. are just like cocky ass people, yes. though. That's the thing. And they just like, they just, obviously, they're going to get rejected. They're know? like the guys mm -hmm. we talked about last question. That that's the guys I see approaching the girls. Mm. I forgot. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I have a question. I thought you were like the okay. dogs, the dogs, yeah, the yeah, dogs. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Go ahead. Yeah. So following up with her question, then, so if you guys were in like a in like a party, right, and then you see two like really pretty girls, and you're attra really attracted to like both of them, but one is like fucking beautiful, like model, like like fucking Rihanna, beautiful, and then and the other girl is just like she's your type, she's pretty. <laughs> So Whoa, what does that mean? What is that? No, I'm just kidding. Are they both friends or they're just two random girls? Just two random girls. So mm -hmm. you would say you wouldn't approach the prettiest one, the prettier one, because you're intimidated by her and you're scared that you think she's going to reject you more than the other girl. If there's a girl that's 12 out of 10 versus a girl that's 8 out of 10 at a party, let's just say that. A girl that walks in that's 12 out of 10 versus 8 out of 10. And they're both best friends. No, no, just like just, just like them in the same party. They're just opposite corners. Oh, okay. This is you different. can walk this way, you can walk this way. Which way are you walking? Okay, my bad. I thought we were talking about they were both friends. and No, just like same party. I would feel more comfortable trying to hit on the 8 out of 10. Yes. I would definitely feel more comfortable. With your guys' logic saying that you don't approach the prettiest girl, you wouldn't approach the prettiest girl, you would more likely approach the 8 out of 10 than the 12 out of 10? That's what it is. I think so. I think that's a fair thing to say. It is. I so I do think that I do think that like really really pretty girls don't get hit on by in public. Yeah, yeah. Don't get hit on by like de decent guys, like decent guys, because those decent guys just feel like they're gonna get shot down. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. But I feel like the guys that do end up hitting on the prettiest girls kind of just give like no fucks. They just it. give no fucks and. The guys that give no fucks are the dogs who are just cocky motherfuckers. And it's probably why they think the way they think. And then that's why they, they probably gets around that she just rejects every guy because the guys that she's rejecting aren't fucking good these are, guys. These are facts. And then they just get negative views about women. Yeah. Exactly. Damn. Mm -hmm. Every, everything comes back around full circle. Yeah. Because they just think they get denied by every single Everything one. comes back around full circle. Full fucking circle, guys. That's Karma, good. the universe, the world. Race car tracks. What's up, guys? I just want to take a quick minute and shout out our sponsors. Without our sponsors, we wouldn't be able to bring this podcast to you guys for free. You know what, dude? What? Relationships do take work, bro. They do. Especially the most important one, which is yourself. A lot of us will drop anything and go out of our way to help someone that we care about. But how often do we give ourselves the same treatment? So this month, BetterHelp Online Therapy wants to remind you that you matter just as much as everyone else does. Therapy is one of the better ways that you can show up for yourself. In my personal opinion, um, I believe that people, especially the younger generation, don't have many people to talk to or feel like they don't have many people to talk to. And therapy can be a really, really good way for them to find someone that will listen to them and be able to provide them with some advice that they possibly might need in their life. BetterHelp is online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat sessions with your therapist. So if you don't feel comfortable seeing anybody on camera, you do not have to. It's much more affordable than in-person therapy, and you can be matched with a therapist within 48 hours. Give it a try and see why over 2 million people have used BetterHelp online therapy. Thanks to BetterHelp being our sponsor, every Suburb Talks listener can get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash Rancho Boys. That's betterhelp.com slash Rancho Boys. Hope you guys enjoy the rest of the podcast. So how'd you get your start? <laughs> um, You know what, Nick? What made you start? Let's talk about that. What made you? Because I didn't know. I didn't know you. You know what I mean? I didn't know you at all. Do you guys actually want to know? I actually want to know You've when the told fuck. You when I don't want to know when you started and how it started. I really like this girl. I really really like this girl. I know the story. Yeah, it's the first girl. The first girl I ever like told that I actually like liked a lot that I actually want to pursue. Okay. That's cap. No, 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 dead ass. Nah, dude, what do you mean? No, dead ass. Like, serious, like, seriously, not like, like, maturely, not like on some immature high school type stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, okay, but, like, okay, mature, okay, like, okay, out of high yeah, school, yeah. like, college, you know? Right. Um, and she said she liked me back. I went on vacate. You haven't started then? No, I have not started yet. Okay, okay. This okay, is okay. pre everything, like, nothing. Like, I was on TikTok making stupid videos. Okay, see, I want to know when you started that. Oh, Sean and I just started like in the fucking in his house one day. And we how like, big did it go until you? I got took to it? like I got to like eighteen thousand followers 
Okay. Off of just like stupid ass stupid videos. Stupid video. I remember those remember. videos too. I remember. Yeah. Okay. The okay, okay. Fits the that was like when TikTok yeah. was first like going and I was like, like quarantine. Like, yeah, 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 yeah. People were just going. Yeah, 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 exactly. No, no, no. This was pre-quarantine, bro. No, this, no, this is right. Yeah, this is pre-quarantine. This is, pre- this is right before yeah, yeah. quarantine. Because we started before. doing the the car discussion videos and or not this, like not the not much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And that's when COVID because we all had masks on. Yeah. This was like right out of high school, going into college was when I was doing those stupid videos. Okay. And then I hit eighteen thousand, and that's when we started doing our thing like when we started doing really? the classroom yeah yeah that's when we started doing the classroom stuff wow okay yeah Keep going. the classroom stuff though started because of a girl though and like yeah so i i told her that i liked her a lot and she told me she liked me a lot and then i went on vacation and i came back and i got straight ghosted i ghosted out of nowhere and i was like damn this is she fucking didn't respond to you didn't respond to me didn't tell me nothing i asked like that's what's cool. i asked like what's up that's didn't respond bad. to me that nothing that's and i see i see like later on my all my homies are telling me like is it okay if i do this oh fuck yeah okay but like all my homies then later on tell me like oh bro like i seen her with this other dude like blah blah, blah. Oh. a dude that she told me not to worry about are you fucking kidding yeah. me right now a dude that she told me not to worry about so i was like damn this is fucking oh, whack wow. so then sean hit me up and he was like bro you ever watched the movie hitch you guys ever watched the movie yeah. hitch with will smith yeah. i was like i was like nah he's like watch the movie hitch and i watched it and he was like bro you could be like hitch like the will smith and Will Smith in the movie is this guy that teaches other guys like how to get girls. I have no idea why Sean told me I could do that. I, I, did not, I was not getting girls at the time. But I was like, I was like, he was like, bro, like we can make this into like a video of like you teaching guys like how to get girls. I was like, fuck yeah, like let's do it. Wow. That's what class it was to start. Sean's idea. Yeah, it was Sean's idea. I owe everything to Sean. Yeah, Sean was the one that told me to do it. Yeah. <laughs> but fuck you um, to the girl and to the guy. Sage is now best friends with the guy. That guy. Yeah. I'm, okay, so that's your origin story. Why didn't you tell me what the fuck what it was oh! then, you fucking asshole? It's my origin story. Sage is best friends with him. No, I'm not. Yeah, can you believe that, guys? Yeah, fuck Sage. Am I right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So how'd you get your start? <laughs> how'd you get your start? This guy right here. Oh shit. So how'd you get your start? <laughs> how did you get your start? <laughs> hey man. David blew up on TikTok. Hey, yo, David was blowing up on TikTok. Hey, bro, I tried to follow you a long time ago, bro. I just says, like, it's pending or something. (laughs) (laughs) It's kind of weird, bro. You follow me, though. Yeah, we're not like we're not friends on TikTok. You haven't like followed me oh, back, dude. Yeah, <laughs> I only follow back the real. Oh, <laughs> you know what's good. Hey, okay. he follows. Yeah. Me. Let's go oh, what the me. fuck, bro? Oh, he's good. He's good. <laughs> David only follows girls that he wants to hit. Oh no. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Why did he follow me? Uh, it's weird. I do follow you. <laughs> hey, wait. So you picking up what I'm putting down? Are you not on TikTok anymore, David? I don't really post anymore. Yeah. Dude, you were on a you were on a grind there for a minute, huh? Yeah, I mean, what happened? Just Nick. He, he saw me. Lie, he saw me posting and blowing up, and he wanted to. Yeah, follow Nick. Him I was so discouraged by Nick. I was <laughs> yeah, like, he was like, if this man's blowing up, like I can blow up. <laughs> All those times your account was removed was because I reported it. <laughs> <laughs> Some of the. I be surprised. I remember your really old ones, like long time ago. Some of them were fucking funny, like the twerking. I don't know. Twerking. What? <laughs> Pause. Wait, you be no, wait, 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 I want to see. I want to see. No. I, <laughs> I guarantee you, I was not twerking <laughs> no, in any of these videos. The twerking one. What is that? David shaking ass? Hell Damn, no. Damn, he was <laughs> shaking ass. Hell yeah. He was, oh, wait, he was. I'm pretty sure he deleted it. I don't know. Yeah, I'm already talking somewhere. Yeah. <laughs> mm, mm, he deleted oh, yeah. a lot of videos, <laughs> guys. Can we talk about Carrie Martin's TikToks? <laughs> <laughs> okay, you know what? I actually have a real question. Yeah. What do, you think, what do you think about guys that post like thirst traps on TikTok? Ooh, great question. Do you, think my, do you think my posts are thirst traps? Yes, I would consider you really. Post- yeah, I consider you. Yeah, post- maybe you just look so damn fine, bro. But <laughs> <laughs> I don't see that much of an issue with his. Like I'm saying, like what type of thirst traps like, do you hate? Like, guys who post thirst traps, would you say that they're like? It just depends on the guy. Like if they're if it's hot versus like if it's not hot. Would you say for you? Would you say every thirst trap is just not it if a guy does it? No, some of them are it. Some of them are it. See, I don't think mine are just mine aren't like corny. You know what I mean? You have substance behind them. Exactly. There's like a meaning. Yeah. Good, 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 yeah. good, good way to put it. Okay. What if you? Ma- go ahead. Go ahead. I was gonna say it's really about confidence. Mm. Facts. Have you guys seen those videos where the the people are like it's all about confidence? Oh yeah, they're like no confidence versus confidence. Yeah, and all that, that yeah. shit. I'm like that is facts. So let's say you meet a guy in real life, mm-hmm. very attractive, blah blah, and then yeah. you see his TikTok and it's all thirst traps. Damn. Is that a turn off? I've seen that before. That's a good question to ask. Yeah, yeah that's a turn off like all all, all was just traps. thirst traps with the ring light camera and everything oh right in the yeah. middle of the ring light camera no 
yeah honestly turn turn off. off now what if they're all like blown up though like they're all like yeah <coughs> hella views no dude then i'm gonna have to worry about other girls and shit too <laughs> yo, okay that's a good fucking thing to lead to okay my dad was telling me he's like yo like you're gonna have to find a girlfriend that doesn't really think too much about girls like worrying about your tiktok is that a real thing i didn't think that was a real thing if that man are we talking about like if that man was like interested in me then i'd be like i wouldn't worry about it because it's like okay like he chose me out of like all his like little fans if we're talking about like some tiktok guy i don't know because he said he was blowing up attract let's say he's attractive makes thirst traps not super famous but every video he posts it blows up it blows up <sighs> what um, made you say that then i want to know like what what was the thing behind that like you saying like oh i don't have to worry about all those girls because i mean i feel like it's normal for girls to be like damn this man is fine he's blowing up on tiktok all these girls are like commenting on his videos it's like and obviously there's gonna be like bomb ass girls commenting on his videos too and it's gonna be it might make you like a little insecure like damn now mm, there's like competition that's you know? that's that's yeah, yeah, yeah. That's so that's a turn off competition no i that part is not a turn off the turn off is that he has a bunch of thirst traps Gotcha. Mm. So, yeah. so you know, you know, that makes me think about another thing. Cause I always see girls talk about like how they always want like a low key dude. Mm. Like, does that make like is that the reason girls want low? Like, what's the reason girls are like, oh, I want my man to have two hundred followers on Instagram and following like three hundred. You know what I'm saying? Like, oh, not yeah, be yeah. anything. Just real quick before you tap in, or like when girls say like it's more attractive when a guy doesn't, doesn't post. Happen. Yeah, he's posted it last time is two years ago. Or like no uh, social media is a green flag. I think it's connected to that. The fact that you yeah. know that they're not posted, which means girls ain't coming like his way. So that too and they're they're not looking at other people <laughs> either because he doesn't have social media and so who's he looking at well let's not say let's say let's let's not say no social media let's just say he just doesn't post oh doesn't post and he's like his following isn't big or anything yeah mm -mm. super low key. that's just attractive that's better than like what about it what is it okay. that's attract what is it about that yeah i'm just kind of confused because like there could be a guy that has thousands of followers yeah. and he doesn't really look at girls yeah and he's like a down to earth guy like this fool right here. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Like, exactly. He has girls on it. Not you. He has girls <laughs> on the comments. But like, he's like, he doesn't do any. Like, you know what I mean? Like, he doesn't like get at them. Like, hit them up. Like, cause like I've seen your fucking DM. You yeah. showed me. Like, yeah. you know what I mean? But like at the end of the day, it's like, I've seen your DMs too, Nick. I've seen them too. They're OC. They're just as OC. Okay. Yeah. Don't forget. That. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Go ahead, keep going. Yeah. No, but like like that, like like, that, like yeah. Sage, he's getting a following, but mm -hmm. like at the same time, like he's a fucking like humble guy, you know what I mean? Okay, I think I don't know, girls, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think girls think that because it is connected to like oh, then they don't really associate much with like other people because they're not like using social media that much. So like associate you know, with other people is a different. I'm trying to think right now because that's different. And like, than it also shows that like that guy doesn't care so much about social media, you know. Mm. And the social media does cause a lot of problems in relationships, so it's kind of mm. like a green okay. flag. Like, okay, I think you like know? personally, like in my personal opinion, I think like I see no issue with a person having like a lot of like followers or whatever. Like, if they have a lot of followers, they're attractive and they get a lot of att attention. Sure, as long as that person at the end of the day shows you that you they only care about you type you know what i'm saying like yeah. see, they make saying, you like, the priority you shouldn't you shouldn't let social media get in the yeah. fucking like you shouldn't yeah. view social me yeah. media so as like a outlet to like like somebody or not as like, long as they don't like use it against you like oh i get all this attention you should give me attention type like if they're making sure that you are the only person that's feeling wanted type like i don't think you've yeah an issue. yeah maybe it's just a norm in this genuine generation now like yeah it definitely is because i view i view both those two kind of the same if I'm being real, like it, it doesn't matter if she has a lot of followers, yeah. if she has a little bit of followers. If she, if I could fuck with her the same way I could fuck with her, if she has a lot, and she's not stuck up or anything like that, or use it against you. Attractive. Yeah, exactly. I'd be like, fuck yeah, I'm gonna go with that girl. Hmm. I think like in conclusion, I think girls I find it attractive because because like it shows that they don't really care about social media. So you're just talking about social that. media vibe. Okay, so you're just. It's plain just social media doesn't matter on what kind of following they have then because that's what kind of what you're talking about right now is like it, is it on the basis that because social media brings toxicity into the relationship when people are asking about that they're just generalizing it like so they're they're thinking that people that have like less like followers on social media and stuff they don't really care that much on not on any of those apps you no know they, I mean? they are on those apps still like obviously they're still gonna be on those apps but it's just like it shows they don't really care who they follow like they only just follow like friends and family type shit okay yeah that's what girls find attractive because like 
obviously people that don't have a lot of following they don't be following around just like ran- random people like mutuals or anything like that it's just like just friends and family and like i think girls find that attractive because it's like okay they're not like trying to like get at other girls through social media or like follow like pretty like instagram models because they solely use social media to just like see what like their friends and family are up to okay. and i think that's attractive too that's it's good, very that's a good yeah. okay that's a good way to put it because yeah. well, i i was genuinely when it comes to that i was kind of just thinking like how like i feel like girls don't like guys that are posting hella thirst traps or like is always on social media posting himself because it's more like this guy's just obsessed with himself i thought that's what it was more like it was more like this guy's just know. obsessed with himself like he wants people to recognize how good well, he looks i can see that too that's yeah that, that that's a valid point yeah. it's a valid point yeah. i didn't delve into that but I could see that. I thought yes. I thought it was more like that, not so much the side of um, all the girls hitting him up or all the girls in his comments. But that also makes sense. That also makes sense. Yes. That's why that's why a girl, that could be a deterrent for girls, though. No, yes, but Nick, that's also another reason. There's you, like multiple reasons. You just that's feel another. like this guy's just like too obsessed with himself. He's posting thirst traps and he's got all these followers stuff like that. Yeah, it's just like it's just like the fact that he's just like setting up his phone like in the middle of a rain light and just like just like like doing thirst traps that fact is an ick it could be an ick douchey yeah. vibe okay. like a douchey like vibe. i could see like that's another reason why i also think just like with comes with social media comes with like unhealthy like tendencies mm-hmm. so like mm-hmm. if somebody has zero social media presence there's like there's not that worry there but i mean if somebody does have a social media presence if they never give you that issue to worry about then i don't see the issue yes personally damn i yeah. feel like we be jumping from question to question yeah. i don't even he d- david yes. just summarized that so well yeah Period. that was good do you think girls be like questioning you because I'm saying of like your social media? See, stuff? that's why I think I don't think I feel like you've been really wanted to get an answer out of that. Yeah, I don't think they should. Mm. You know what I mean? I don't think you should be like, oh, because I don't even have a lot of you know, I don't have a lot of followers like like yeah. that. Maybe to some people, yes, because some people post a lot and they don't get a lot of followers and they will be like, what the mm. fuck. Most of that. Like, but um, in that way, I don't think a girl should feel intimidated or feel like they have competition just because I have a little falling and i have people that fuck with me that's what i feel like what it is like people that just fuck yeah, with me how I that's how i that's how i kind of yeah. seem like like i'm like oh like people fucking they interact with me they would want to talk to me mm-hmm. even if it's on a, a way of they're dming me in a in a way that they want to get to know me like on a different level mm-hmm. or if they just want to get to know me as just talking to sage you know what i mean okay. that's why i like the discord because there's that's just people that i just want to like you know what i mean talk to okay sage i was gonna say like um i feel like girls when they when they like see a they're interested in a guy with like a large social media following like you i don't think they're gonna be like oh he has such a large social media following like i'm not fucking with that like no it's more like it's more like they would just be it would be like a green flag when they see someone that has a lower social following like like their social media isn't too big and they like you could tell they don't use that much social media it's more like oh like that's a green flag but it's not it's just so weird I you know think, what i mean i it's think it's so like, i think it's just like genuine like reasonable worry just because they have so many y- you can clearly see how many options they have that's what like I'm even if somebody was attractive but they didn't have a big following yeah, yeah. you don't know how many options they have they only see it when they're in public you know what i'm saying like yeah, but if they yeah, have exactly, a exactly. big following where so many people are just throwing themselves at them then it's like a worry on your end not really theirs yeah i'm just yeah because you, you're in the beginning you were saying like oh like it's not about the competition mm-hmm. but then every day i feel like it is kind of about the competition Almost. As long as that person makes you not worry about the competition, they always show you that you're first. I don't think. I don't think it's really a big, you know, what I mean, big thing. I, I mean, think I partly think. it is. Yeah, it, it definitely has to play a little factor in. You know what I mean? Because I, I mean, probably guys would feel like that too. I mean, not really. I would, though. I, I would definitely girl, feel like I'm not good enough. I would definitely yeah. feel like I'm not good enough. You like, like you, let's say your girl had like like NBA players, NFL players in her in her comments. Like you would feel some okay, type of yeah, way, right? Yeah, like, for if sure. it wasn't and especially if it wasn't like her profession either and she kept doing like thirst traps when we're together, I would definitely feel some type of way. Like yeah. like why are you posting thirst traps? Like it might It's not, not a wrong thing to say like uh, where it's in our fucking blood to be competitive that's, about yeah, somebody, especially about. somebody that you somebody fucking Somebody he love. thinks of higher stuff. You know I mean? yeah. 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 You definitely feel like okay. I think it goes by the way. Yeah, for yeah. sure. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wait, can we like talk about that then? What's up? Yeah. I feel like that was a more of the kind of thing like we were trying to get to, but it just didn't really like come out that way. What do you want to talk about, Maru? Like talking about like thirst traps when when you have like a man's. Mm. How do you feel about people that make thirst traps when they have a man's? I like I said, uh, I would I would definitely feel a little. Interesting. I don't know if it's insecure or just weird, but I would I I'll say insecure. I I definitely feel insecure if my girl is posting thirst traps on like any type of social media. Yeah, while I'm with you on like any type of social, like officially, you know, like any type of social media, I would definitely feel weird. 
Really? Insecure. Let's say you had a girlfriend, right? And you posted something like, like my kind of TikToks, like, oh, like when she does this or when, when I'm talking about like uh, just a girl. I'm just talking about just a girl. And I'm not speaking in specifics. Mm. I'm talking about just in they. In general. Like, you so know what I mean? Like, when they do this, when she does that, when I like, when they when, do this. When they walk around in Nike, like, exactly. S- when I, okay, like I'll that. do this. Uh, I personally like this too. When they have the little two strands out and they have the little ponytail on. Okay. I like that. Got it. If I had a girlfriend and I were to post something like that, I would expect her not to think I'm talking about somebody specific, even if I have that girlfriend, because it would be like, it should be like, oh, like, who are you talking about? Like, who do you think I'm talking about? Now, what if she's never done it before, though? Like the two strands. Let's say yeah, she's never had. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. <laughs> okay, <laughs> so like, that's, that's yeah, okay. That that is a valid question. That is a valid so like, question. What if it was I like you were saying? Like what if it was like when when he has a yeah. middle part? Like where's See, my like, middle part? Like, like, like that's, when he's white yeah, and like, I'm I'm Mexican. I got twists, bro. Like, that's way that's way different. That's way different. That's way different. I think that's totally fine doing all that because it's just for like TikTok, you know? Exactly. I'm saying that's what I'm thinking right now. As long as your girl does that too. Cause like, yeah. As long oh, as yeah. your girl does that too, because then that's gonna confuse her, and she's gonna be like, "Hold on, I never wear fucking like gray sweats or like." When he's six foot and your man is five eight, like, bro, what? Like, yeah. <laughs> that is fucked up. Like that is fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> what I'm saying is, what I'm saying when it's generalized, yes. you're not, because uh, okay. I would kind of find it flattering. In that way, in that way, when you're saying specifics like that, I understand that. But when you're talking about just like. Oh, when she does this, when she does that, you could be generalizing that. In that, um, fuck, dude, how am I supposed, how am I trying to explain this? You could be talking about her, but generalizing it to everybody. Exactly. Yeah, yeah but I think as long as the person can do that and they do do it, like I think in a way that, that it's just like it just means like you- it's just a TikTok. Nobody should be concerned or anything like that if it's just a TikTok. Like, mm-hmm. understand, especially if you're like you know what I mean, us in the group right now. We're trying to get like you know what I mean our names out there. We're trying to do shit that blows us up. We're not really thinking about like too much on like if I say let's say I'm talking to a girl and I say when she does this when she does that she's gonna be like oh what are you talking about like who are you, who are you talking about don't say that like yeah, that's a no, that's, that's that's not a good thing to be worried about. That's causing you know problems. Right? That's causing problems when there ain't no problem. Yes, yeah. I feel like people would just be posting TikToks to post TikToks. To blow up. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah, yeah man. man. And like people need to not like look too deep into it. You're right. Yeah. I, I agree with you, yeah. yeah. As long as the girlfriend feels like, yeah, you're not like being sus about it. Yeah, mm-hmm. I agree that too. But it's like, yeah, I think that kind of connects with like what I was going to say. I was going to say that like, I feel like it's fine if girls pull their straps, if she, even if she has a man's. But what about a guy? Like That's what I'm saying. I feel like it's the same thing with guys, but... I think I mean, these things should be fine both ways. Yeah. Yeah, yeah fine both you, ways. You don't care. But, like, what are we talking? Thirst traps. Like, bikini well, what picks. Are you, what are you talking about That's bikini what we're picks? talking about. I think girls and guys, thirst traps are way different. So, mm-hmm. what would be a guy thirst trap? Uh, you guys were considering my kind of thing, you know, me a little bit of thirst trappy. But I'm never showing anything like. I'm not gonna be really showing my body, you know what I mean? Because it, it's just like that's not how like I like. You're third. not like recording yourself, like who wants this? Yeah, like yeah. no. Exactly, exactly. I'm just kind of like my things are kind of just. Just like. Oh yeah, then that's fine. And I think yeah. guys should be fine if like your girlfriend posts like their straps too. It's kind of like like a flex too. Like hey, like that's my girl, and you can't get her. Like, mm-hmm. you know. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. like let's say I'm on Instagram posting like me like, fucking looking ripped at the gym. I'm just like, damn, Monday's girl. Yeah, and we were dating. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'd be mean, like, "Hey, let's go!" Like, that's my man's. Like, yeah. So he looks you good. you wouldn't feel insecure if a guy like was posting that on his like Instagram. Your your man's a shirtless pic, like a my shirtless man. Pic. What we were saying earlier is nah. that people are, are in his DMs like that you think are yeah, like, see, yeah. you know what I mean? That are I like, wouldn't be mad about that. I think that's really toxic. It's like it no, just like yeah, I don't use an issue. Yeah. He looks good. He wants to post himself because he's he looks confident. good. He's that should be fine. Confident. And I feel like that should be the same with guys and girls. Like, a guy should respect the girl and be like, hey, that's fine. Like, you look good. Like, post if this pic shit. makes yeah. you feel confident, post it. If you're yes. posting it for confidence. Yes. That makes sense. Unless you guys got anything else to add, we can wrap it up. That's perfect. Yeah, that was good.
Yeah? Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well, we're going to go ahead and wrap this podcast up. I am hungry as I'm hungry fuck, as fuck, dude. Too, I'm not no going to lie right now. I think it's time for some uh, West Coast eats. Gross. We do. Dude, Devin, this is the craziest I've ever seen Devin because like, he was not on his ADHD shit. Like, <laughs> you were totally... <laughs> would you take, did you take your meds? You took your meds, didn't you? Like, yeah, you just airing out my mans, bro. <laughs> nah, like, nah. He, you took your meds, didn't you? Wait, Devin, do you actually have ADHD? I think. <laughs> like, I, I genuinely think so. Yeah. I think I'm bipolar. No, you have ADHD. No, bipolar is way different. Yeah, I'll tell you. I'll tell you. Be sad sometimes, shall you? No. Sometimes I be. What did it say? Sometimes I be happy. Wait, what did they say? Sometimes I'll be happy. Sometimes I'll be sad, shawty. Yeah. Anyways, though, guys, we're gonna go and wrap this podcast up. Make sure you like, subscribe, follow us on all our platforms. Add me on Instagram, Nick underscore Greheta. Hop in the Discord, motherfuckers. I'm gonna put that shit in the description. It is so much fun. Seriously, we hop in and out. David better fucking get on it. Are you want me to hop on? Yeah, I want you to hop on. I want you. I want to see yeah. you do it right now. No, oh. don't do it right now. I was just kidding. We're, we got. I'm so fucking hungry. We gotta wrap this up. Um, I'm your host, Nick Greheta. I'm Maru. Devin. D Gorgeous. Sahaya. And we'll catch you, motherfuckers, on the next segment of Suburb Talk. Talk. Salute, my people. Salute. Salute.